Hello, internet. This is probably going to be a short stream, because all we really got to do right now is wait for two in-game days for uh, Duff's laser on Dr. Bacon's magical submersible to cut through some magic tree roots. So there's not going to be a lot of plot, and I'm probably going to get bored. Let's go take care of this uh, chicken farm upgrade. Don't do it. And also I gotta be ready to uh, alt-tab and mute the game sound in case this little guy starts rapping again. Anyway, what do I think? Yeah, neat. We got more farm fields now. And we got an egg. So, can I pick this? No. I'll grow the rice. Just kill the insects every now and then. Okay, that's the same thing that's always been saying. Um, no weeds here. We got a weed here. Probably need to plant some more carrots and eggplants. whole row carrots. Why not? And now chicken upgrades. What can you tell me about chickens? Mm -hmm. What's going on, Sammy? Yeah. I was browsing the internet to buy a new instrument, yeah. and I found some awesome stuff on sale for a limited time, so I bought them just before the sale ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you don't need to worry about coming to the chicken farm when you're busy. Hey, Vopker. Awesome stuff. What exactly did you... Here it is. The first item is the egg storage box. This storage can keep up to 50 eggs. Now you don't have to collect eggs every day. You can just wait until it fills up and collect them all in one go. Whoa. Such technology. That's not all. Behold, the chicken feeder. Yeah. This machine automatically feeds your chickens and increases the egg production rate. Yeah. With these machines, you'll have the ultimate chicken farm. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> They're amazing. Do I have to pay for this? Bonjour, Ruben. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's not free, right? <sighs> nope, I'm a bit short on cash. Cash, it's I'm preparing for a new album. <laughs> but I bought them at a special discount. It was pretty much a steal. <laughs> I don't think Sammy can say no as long as there's a discount. Shut out. I'll hold on to them for now. Just tell me when you need them. Yeah. I can install them for free. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. They seem pretty helpful. I should think about it. So we can now purchase a machine that helps run the chicken farm. If we get the egg storage box, we can sort 50 eggs. And if we get a chicken feeder, we can automatically feed the chickens. How was my sleep? Nothing I can really complain about. Wow, egg storage box is extremely expensive. I don't think I want to buy these. Maybe not now, maybe later. How are our fish farm fish doing? Ruben did not sleep well and woke up tired. Oh, well, that's just normal. What's with people thinking that sleeping makes you not tired? I guess we can just leave this as it is. Maybe send some of these puffer fish to the kitchen.
for me, it should, but yet. Do I need these black and white snappers? Do I use them for anything? Oh, we have upgrades here, too. Told you about density before, right? We can't put in more fish if the density reaches 100, so keep that in mind. It should for me... No, for me, it should not be yet. Oh, not be normal to wake up tired. Yeah, yeah. Not sure when that became normal, honestly. We're at 60%. I think these coral trout, if we can get some, uh... Got the urge to lay on the floor for an hour. Does that have anything to do with being tired? Sometimes you just need to lay down. We still have things for me to talk about. Oh, we can open a hydrothermal vents area. Do we? Have we been to a hydrothermal vent? I guess that's where we're going next. Oh no, spoilers. Ruben didn't have an hour to lie down on the floor. Aw. Oh, oh well. Oh, maybe next time. Oops. How about these fish? Anything good here? Got some more cod. Who didn't love cod? We somehow bred a narwhal. We now have a breeding population of narwhals at our fish farm. The arctic octopus probably isn't going to be very tasty. We'll leave it. I don't really want to keep this... What are we doing density-wise? We're over density, so we gotta get rid of something. How is the project going? And how are the trees? The trees are good. The trees are covered in flowers now and making it hard for me to breathe. Um... The project, not so much. I haven't made much project progress on it. I did stream most of last week. Let's get rid of this guy. Just sell him. Uh, do I want to keep the haddock? Let's send him to the kitchen. And the shark, too. Stream every day except Sunday, yeah. Maybe I want to expand the 540. That's not super expensive. There, now we can breed more narwhals. So we got a little project from Otto, where he wants us to go take a picture of this thing. Ruben's school was not good today. Didn't you guys do tests all last week? I would think this week would be kind of chill. He was 25 minutes too early. And... Greatly... 40. Gonna need to try again on that last word, greatly. 
Not sure what that is. Twenty-five minutes too early, and effectively forty minutes too early. So you were supposed to be there twenty minutes after you got there, and then whatever you were there for didn't start for another twenty minutes. Apparently, that spray right there smells really bad. Oh, I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. Uh, sure. Yep, but that math ain't right. 15 minutes. It started 15 minutes late. It was a jellyfish. Ooh, katana. It does less damage to my knife right now. There was a jellyfish down here I want to kill. Because I think I can get a reward for it. I may have lost track of it. So Ruben had to sit in the AULA for 40 minutes. Yeah, not a great use of your time. No, it doesn't sound that different. Like, your school's scheduling just seems kind of constantly in a state of chaos. It is, but somehow it's also good. Is this a color seashell we need? No. I should probably go try to track down that, uh, that whale. It should say near the surface, right? Just in a game logic kind of way. It should say near the surface, not in an actual how whales work just out of way. Since don't blue whales dive really, really, really deep? <clears> hmm. <throat> I've been coughing, uh, like, randomly for the last few days, but I'm pretty sure it's just the pollen levels. Hopefully when it rains later, that'll get helped a little bit. Nice. Now we can go fast. If we can find the blue whale again. Well, we found him all the way to the right, so... And he hasn't been... We haven't found him, so... I'm just gonna guess he's... Not around. Um... May as well kill these. See if we can make some jellyfish sushi at some point. That's any good. They're not super heavy. 
We don't need brown, we don't need blue, I'm pretty sure we need pink seashells. Got a shark to deal with. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. See, that was an easy fight. Ruben had to do some Kahoot and a project was all right in retrospect. Retrospect's a pretty fancy word for English as a second language. I don't think I know the word retrospect or an equivalent in any other language than English. Are these food? Ornate Rass. Yeah, sounds right. Pretty ornate. Seems to be a lot of dangerous fish out here today. Ruben learns from the internet, not from books. Yeah, I guess we do use words like retrospect more online than we do speaking out loud. Blue shell. But it's not the kind of blue shell we want. Just catching these so they don't kill me. We'll release them if we have to. Shock bang stick. Nope. How about a gun upgrade? No, it's a poison harpoon, and I forget how that works. Oh, we can take it apart and get fragments. Ruben doesn't know how to spell practical, but he does know that one. These sea fish, uh, these seahorses aren't going to be really any use. Almost to the oh, these we need these. The uh, Michael Bay dude, the thing we learned for taking care of him. He needs this little blue and green fish. If I can get a breeding population of you, we can get something that's very expensive to give people. Harlequin Hind. Hind. Think these guys the other ingredient in that sushi? Whoa. Didn't get out of there. Oh, there's a barracuda here. This is where we cut our losses and get out. Maybe we find some oxygen. Oh wait, we got oxygen. Uh, R and then C. 
and then we're gonna catch this Barracuda. He almost got me while I was looking down at my keyboard. Might not be striped red mullet that we need. We definitely need these though. These I can recognize. The Harlequin Hines. And now we catch this Barracuda. And fully refill on oxygen. And if this gun over here is any good, maybe we can finish off that shark. That would be nice. Ruben's project was the blueprint kind of thing, and it went great yet terrible. Triple Axle Level 2. As long as it's got bullets in it. So first we catch the Barracuda. Maybe not. There we go. We can use our uh, submersible for you. You're probably valuable. Now I'm gonna take back my gun, because if we can get bullets for it, it's better. I don't seem interested, so here it is short. It went normal for a friend and me. And I guess it didn't go well for your classmates. An upgrade. Well, we still need bullets. No bullets means basically not a gun. Not a very useful gun with no bullets. What sort of thing were you blueprinting? This is... Oops. I didn't mean to shoot him. Dusky Groupers. A blueprint for a sustainable school. Maybe it's the Dusky Groupers that I need? I wish I could check that recipe while I was down here. Also, somehow, I guess the gun upgrade also gave me more bullets. is going to be right back. I'll be here. I probably should call it a day. I mean, a dive. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want to play with him. Let's just go ahead and go home. There's our first dive. Already back.
All I did was uh, catch some more dusky groupers and run away from a shark. Let's see, ornate wrasse. We don't need ornate wrasse, bro. We do need the Harlequin Hendro, and we got four of them, that's good. <laughs> Mission updated, Whale Cry. Ruben came to the conclusion that a sustainable school doesn't need walls. Uh... I guess you've never felt the pain of having a cubicle and then having that cubicle taken away from you. Walls are very nice to have. What did I do today? Nothing. I, uh... Woke up, did my daily things in Splatoon, thought about going to various other convenience stores to get a soda and then decided not to because, like, I'll live without it. Ruben school can be a lot of chairs in the forest. Okay, that is a thing. And forests do block sight lines. Have I accomplished anything here yet? We need more leg bones. But... We can deliver that. We can deliver these clams. We found the Sea People artifacts. That's probably worth more than 20 research points, but whatever. It wants us to catch a Dunkleostis. Dunk, Dunkley, ah, uh, bleh. Dunky. Still haven't found the sea grapes. Power isn't needed, but if it is, you just go over to the detention classroom and use hamster wheels. You have the kids in detention generating power with hamster wheels. Oh, right, I was supposed to call Ellie. That's why I opened this stupid thing. Huh? What's going on? A humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think I... it might have something to say. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Perfect way to be sustainable. I don't know, you're kind of hitting that fish farm issue. Where to farm fish, you gotta farm not as good tasting fish to feed the fish you wanna farm. You're feeding those kids that are running the hamster wheels. And that takes power and resources to feed them. And you're probably not going to get as much power out of them as you put into them. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. That's crazy that she can understand whales. Offspring? Like the band? No. Yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As you're going about, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? Uh, well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. I guess we just dive back in. don't need to catch more blue tang. Y'all are not good food. We have gotten everything we can out of the blue tang menu. Well, it's something we don't have to care about since no teacher probably cares or knows that. Uh, yeah, indeed.
being a teacher does not leave a lot of time to learn weird things. Like how treadmills were originally a torture device for prisoners. Something's pinging. I've also seen a pretty cool thing where, uh, back in the Middle Ages, blind people could get jobs basically standing in these giant hamster wheels that were used to basically as pulleys on construction sites. Because if you're blind, it's not as scary to be inside the giant hamster wheel. Because you can't see down. What would I think the sign or teacher would know? Oh, you would think the science teacher would know about the law of conservation of energy and how if you have people do work... To, oh, what the... Right, tuna. We don't have tools to catch tuna. Maybe I could shoot them. Hanging noise is kind of loud here. Oh, is that weird fish? I forget. Do we shoot it? Or do we just take a photo of it? Catch it without kill? Oh! Well, it's gonna try to kill me, I guess. oxygen refill somewhere up here. Right? Yeah, there it is. Let me look at this fragment. Unconscious. I guess we captured it. That was weird. But we knew that while singing, or at least me, the hamster wheel thingy, if you translated the name of the classroom from Dutch, you would get punishment classroom. <laughs> also, sorry, robot, but you will say, Pijin Lijk. Oh, well, here's that shipwreck they said to look for the uh, horned parrotfish Pokemon thing near. Uh, shark. Okay. Ah, oh, he only took two shots. I guess because we upgraded it, we got an upgrade kit, so there's slightly better bullets. I think we found some sort of food we can make out of these Mediterranean parrot fishes. I also think I need this guy's tail for something.
right, we're out of bullets again. Ruben's friend made a classroom, which Ruben had to remove. It was math, and he drew the not good afterlife. He did draw that very good. I don't think that Twitch uh, censors the word hell. Shrimp. And even if it does, what difference does it make? There is no one here. No one cares what we do on this stream. Oh wait, no, because we do put this on YouTube, so I should maybe, maybe consider that a little bit. Is this the guy I need food from? Or meat from? Not meat. I got Finn from? No, that's a hump head parrotfish. We need Trevallis. I need to find more oxygen. Mm. Oh, but that sounds like a baby whale. Yes, that's the sound of a baby humpback whale. Yeah, the zero people. Also, the zero people who watch it on YouTube. We don't want to offend them, do we? Please, take a look around. There must be a baby wh whale nearby. Yeah, we don't want a baby whale nearby this deep. You know, because baby whale needs to breathe. There isn't a whole lot of oxygen down here. Speaking of not a lot of oxygen, maybe I should use my oxygen container. And there's a... Grr. I can get fragments for this. Or I can just take the fire tip harpoon. Sure. Ah, the crying sounds coming behind that pile of rocks. How did a baby whale get behind that pile of rocks? Mm. These stones will need to be removed to enter. And we will accomplish this removing stones by... Just pulling this pin here. So you can see in gummed up pencil, welcome to hell under the math classroom. Is your math... It's gotta be the teacher, because math isn't that bad. Go to a new region. Once entering, an event will proceed that will end up returning to the boat. Uh... Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's just, let's just go. Baby Whale Cave. There's a baby whale. He seems frightened. Should I go comfort it? Ruben got a two for math. What kind of math are you in? Like what level? Uh oh right, petting games. He didn't like that. I'm bad at petting whales. I think it's still scared. Should I pet it a little? Oh, Ruben didn't have a two. His friend has a two. My bad. Pet the baby whale. I think it's less scared now. Let's keep petting it. Yes.
We definitely got some, uh, like, Nintendog level textures going on in this whale, too. So we good? Seems to have let its guard down. Let's kill it. I mean, no, let's bring it to the surface. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? I need to be careful bringing it back up. Why? It's not like whales are gonna get the bins. It is cute, and it does deserve pets. There's a vicious barracuda in the way. I have to get rid of them for the baby whale to follow. Well, that's not too hard. Ooh, everything looks safe now. Let's try taking the baby whale again. Hey, baby whale. Do, 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 do. Ribbon's got VWO, and I know that. I know you're in the advanced class. Oh! This place is full of lionfish. It's about to not be full of lionfish. Okay, well, that's uh, a lot of dead animals just floating around in the water now. We'll probably have to kill a shark on the way up. Advanced class, well, that's not how our education works. Well, yeah, but, like, there's different kinds of advanced math. Like, you could be in a calculus, you could be in trigonometry, you could be in statistics. <laughs> White Reef Shark, oh no. <laughs> Unless I defeat the shark, the baby whale is not going to follow me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The baby whale shouldn't follow me. <laughs> Woo, there are a lot of vicious fish today. <laughs> We're almost back to the surface, just a little bit more. We'll have the, uh... Submarine take that back up for us So we don't get overweighed Very nice of someone to leave all these bullets lying around Oh look he's upside down. He's having a good time. At least someone is That was dangerous. Looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit here, and Mom should come. Uh, these only take two bullets to kill, but... I've only got eight bullets, so if I miss... What should I do? Mom must whale just body slam them all. Save me the trouble. Things we get in our book. Ruben gets a choice in two years, and in three years it'll be different. You made a little heart bubble. Nice. Those are some big barnacles on her face. Oh, it's huge. Mm. It's a mother's love for her offspring. I guess all animals are the same, except the ones who are not. Mm. I feel like I should text my mom later. <laughs> if math, we chance at all. What? What she wants? Hmm. I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. <laughs> It wasn't easy getting it out. It got so easily frightened of the giant sharks. Maybe it didn't like you, that's all. 
Anyways, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. Hey, it's the baby wheel. Just hanging out with us now. Cool. Like math, hopefully I can choose more bio. In biology, though, you need to understand stats. If you can't do statistics, there's not a lot you can do in, bio in biological research. Or you can just sort of get statistics and find a friend who knows statistics instead and make them, you know, help you with all your papers. If math will change at all, maybe change? Do you think math will change? I don't know, man. Uh, once quantum computers are a thing, like for real a thing, you gotta do some pretty weird math to make them do anything useful. I've tried to wrap my head around it and it just goes in one ear and out the other about how you do math with quantum computers. Ruben doesn't think he needs to understand stats to understand bones. Well, you need to understand stats to be able to say anything useful about the bones. Unless you're going to be like a doctor. And then it's probably best to know stats so you don't get, you know, swindled. Hey, we got a shark head. We also got shrimp row. Oh, you brought the new fishmon for our collection. Mmm, a parrotfish with a helm and horns. The readership will go crazy over this. I'm excited to see how many of the upcoming issue, how many of the upcoming issue will sell when it's published Monday morning. When the issue's out, we'll bring you a fee for your work. Yeah. Please keep up the good work. Mmm. Mm, well, if there's a fee I'm getting for this, it might be serviceable as a weekend side hustle. Oh, we have crops to harvest. That's interesting. One computer plus another computer equals two computers. Ruben doesn't think you'll have much difficulty. I don't even want to get into what a quantum computer is at this point. And we got some carrots. And might as well buy some fertilizer. I should go to the sushi, not the boat. So we gotta prepare something Chinese, but I don't think we've been informed what it is. Whatever. Cooking show time. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown in Challenge the Chef. The only thing Ruben knows about them is some futuristic fiction he read in third grade. Basically they can do the same kind of math, but they can do it many, many, many times at the same time. And then you need to have algorithms that dig up what you actually want to find from those giant result piles. Anyway, Bonjo, are you ready? 
Of course. And Wang Pong? The same. I can't wait. Excellent. Now let's begin challenge the chef now. So, dragon versus tiger. I don't understand the symbology any more than knowing it is a symbology. Boncho will compete with a famous chef on a new TV show. Let's bring them the ingredients he asked for. Uh, are they gonna make me do a Cooking Mama mini game? Because like usually we've just been letting Boncho handle all the cooking on this video game. They're gonna make me cooking, Mama. Okay, that's not that bad. Crap, the onion. Dragon wins in import in birthdays. Crap, the stargazer. The deep sea fish. We're cubing fish. Did we freeze it first? I don't know what kind of movements he wants me to do with the mouse. I can run out of time though. Okay, well, we did it. Whatever it was. We have deep fried deep water fish. The uh, letters where it says success underneath it said Bon Cho, like turn and long. I don't know. So we got deep fried fish and Bowser. Hmm. Press S, how difficult. It is when you don't remember where the letters are on the keyboard. I was kind of hoping he would make that really horrifically difficult to make fried fish dish where you like slice the fish meat into these, you keep it attached to the skin, you slice into these like really little thin strings essentially that are attached to the skin and then you like dip it with your hands into oil so that it fries up looking like a big hairy bloomin' onion mess. But that would have been a lot harder to make a Cooking Mama mini game about compared to, yeah, deep fried square fish. Chop fish into squares, deep fry. 
Oh no, I lost? But I am the best chef in Hong Kong! Mm. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wong Pong. Mm. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste. But it wasn't good enough to impress me. Mm. But Bancho's dish. Okay. It gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Because it comes from deep in ocean, it is evil. Mm. Bancho gave me a perfect blend of the interesting and fresh taste of a stargazer and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking only about the taste, yours was better, Wang Pong. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. I can read. Sometimes. My final verdict is Bancho. Congratulations! Oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? No. Ruben can't read and... I can't read and Ruben can't type. Sometimes. A lot of the time. Honestly, yeah. Ah, my thoughts. I wanted to present the... Thank you, Bancho. The champion saves words for more action, and we love it. Today's winner of challenge, the chef, is Bancho, the defending champion. What a competition. What a judgment. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. I need to sneeze, but I don't need to sneeze enough to actually sneeze. Ah, I hate that feeling. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wong Pong in his area of expertise. Mmm, who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is fair game. Why do I have this feeling that the show won't return again? Might be a bit of me failed, my, my faults. Trying to read fast when you don't know if there's gonna be a lot of typos. They don't like Boncho? How do they like? Well, at least they like Boncho's cooking. Anyway, speaking of the contest, I got some new inspirations for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. I will write them down. Help me try something new when you have the time. New things for Phantom Jellyfish. It sells for a lot. Let's research that. <laughs> Sashimi consisting only of the finest pink fatty tuna, fatty tuna cuts of bluefin and yellowfin. Also sells for a lot, but it probably takes a lot of ingredients. Anglerfish offal, steamed with soy sauce. Alright, that's enough research. Uh, menu for tonight. Based on price, so... It is the coral trout we need. We also need titan triggerfish. And I can enhance this. If I really want to. To make it sell for crazy amounts of money. But it already sells for a lot, so we're gonna just put it on the menu. Let's see, a deep fried sweet and sour stargazer. We use up all of our wheat and eggs. Marlin. Maybe I should just get rid of that. They have some bets riding on these games. Reported, reporter definitely didn't bet on Boncho. We got thresher shark meat. We can probably enhance that. Still doesn't taste very good. We have a lot of narwhal meat. So much narwhal meat. Uh, I guess we're gonna put this on the menu.
Um, poor beagle shark meat. Tastes awful. It's nice that Chinese theme doesn't matter. Yeah, they're really based on taste and not on like, well, is this actually Chinese? Grilled shark meat's not too great. Striped mullet and kelp. Sells for a lot. And what else can we get that's expensive? Sea Dragon Onigiri. Tastes terrible. So we can't put that on the menu, because we don't have enough of it. Um, yellowfin? We could just be super basic and put yellowfin on the menu. We can put strange, exotic, been extinct for close to 400 million years arthropod things on the menu. Or Kaplan's. Or purple sea urchin. I was right, this arctic octopus does not taste very good. Oh, this is that weird flat armored fish. We'll probably need to kill more of those in the future. Okay, what do I got a lot of that I can just put on the menu to be done? Long nose shark. It tastes okay, it's cheap. I have abandoned time now. Abandoned time? Like you don't care about time anymore? There we go. Now that should be enough food for everyone. Let's open Bancho Sushi. Wrong dish, I gotta take it all the way to the end. I just gotta clean up these plates, because I'm the only one who can do it. Plates even really that useful. We have abandoned time. All right, that's what I thought. We made a lot of money today. And we didn't run on wasabi, and everything went pretty quickly. I didn't notice anyone leaving without food. We actually didn't make that much money compared to last night. Whatever. Hmm. So I could go to the hydrothermal vent. Prepare the right ingredient for make a fortune. Uh, so I probably shouldn't have served all those sharks. Uh, 
Oh, we have a seaweed harvest. Right, I forgot about that. We have a seaweed farm now. Egg, two. The curtains are closed. Ribbon's full screen with no clock. And Weird Hat is on. Check the fish farm. See if we got any sharks that we can be breeding. Okay, we don't need this Mediterranean pufferfish. Mediterranean parrotfish. We'll send it to the kitchen anyway. Nor do we need the ornate, ornate wrasse. We'll send some starry puffers. We don't really need lionfish anymore, because the trigger fish that makes the... No, we're still overpopulation. Um, send more triggerfish to Boncho. Send more black and white snappers to Boncho. All right, we're back down now. It's the dusky groupers, or no, it's the coral trout and the harlequin hens. These are what make that really fancy sushi. May as well send him, since we're going to need shark meat tonight. We'll get rid of the... We'll send the red mullet, just all of them. Bang tooth, you still got a lot of those, but they don't taste good. And what do we got down here? So these aren't really breeding that well. So I guess the smart thing to do would be to... I mean, we can just leave our seaweed harvest. Who really cares about that? The smart thing to do would be to go in here and just hunt a bunch of sharks. Emergency pager. I was thinking, I could probably upgrade something, but... You heard about the Eclipse? Yeah, that's part of why I want to have this stream short today, so I can see what little of it I can see. I heard that if you're not in the path of the, like, actual Eclipse Eclipse, you still get, like, lots of weird shadows and stuff. And I want to check that out. But I've got time. The Eclipse is not for another couple hours. I thought about just, like, doing a normal length stream, like, not a, long, a long stream, and just taking a quick break during the eclipse, but I realized that that would basically give you my exact latitude and longitude if I did that. I 
probably shouldn't. Ruben is not herb. Well, that's because it's an eclipse in the United States, so it doesn't really matter that much for you. You won't get to see any of it. It will not be a thing where you are. Why is this ship glowing? How many hours? A few. I kind of want to be out in the woods during it just to... Oh good, bullets. To get some good shadows to work with. Tranquilizer Harpoon. That sounds good. Though I still need to find oxygen. Whoa! Well, we didn't even see y'all guys. And I forgot to change to... I need to find oxygen. I need to... Probably find a scooter of some sort, because that makes it fighting sharks way easier. So, not like I wake up and think hell has happened. No. I'm gonna assume that fried egg jellyfish don't make good sushi. Even though it would be kind of funny. See, we got some tuna over there. I'm not gonna mess with them. They're surprisingly dangerous. Okay, a scooter. Not the best scooter, but a scooter. Let's go kill another shark. Let's go be bad conservationists. Should have hit him with the harpoon. But these little reef sharks, they do die pretty easily. Oh, there's a fragment, nice. There have been people talking about how it's kind of crazy we had an earthquake in the eastern United States at the end of last week, and now we're gonna have a solar eclipse. That would definitely be some, uh, some omens. The robot shall say stupid Dutch words. I can like you a time to like one of me warden. Yeah, I don't know any of those Dutch words. Can't guess them based on similarity to English. It takes three of these fish. Plus three of the other red fish. Plus rice. To make very fancy food. Get this guy out of the way. God is angry and he may spare Sharky and hopefully you. 
There's all kinds of crazy stuff on the internet right now about, like, the eclipse is some sort of, like, Illuminati plot. And not just, you know, things in space. They go around and round, and sometimes they line up. We can't get through there. I'm not sure why I'm in this dangerous high current area. Wait, there is... There is what? A Illuminati plot to cause things in space to line up with each other? Golf club. I should be looking for sharks. I'm probably not going to find any sharks in this area. Never mind, we're in a big open spot. Hey, Trevally. And scary shark. One bullet. Ugh, okay. We'll send him up with the submersible. He is asleep. Yes. There we go. Can't wait to hear my friend believe it stupidly. Believing that people plot to make things in space line up. It is pretty cool that we live in a part of the Earth's history where the sun and the moon are both the right distance from us, that they overlap like this. I wonder how many more millennia that's going to work out. Bone. I need to find an escape pod. There's an escape pod. Fantastic. Let's just go. Let's not press our luck. I'm pressing my luck. Nope, Seahorse, your food now. Now all I need to do is find Amethyst. And I'll be able to upgrade my gun. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go deal with that.
Like, who cares we can't make that much money on the shark event? We're almost at the end of the game. I don't need that much money. I don't need that much money. We can just... Keep going. I don't need to help the sea people more. I keep convincing myself this is like, oh no, we'll, uh, we'll just do it on the side. And then we have to go all the way out of our way to take care of these things. <laughs> Great, it got back safe. Okay. It went all by itself to the glacial area. <laughs> Children, whether human or animal, are full of curiosity. Oh, we're talking about the beluga baby. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease too. Human, you really have a good sense of smell. Well, I didn't actually find it with my nose. Well, anyway, here is something for my gratitude. Seeds. What's going on in here? Dave. Is something wrong, Len Chen? Selgio ran away again. What? Again? Yes, I think something caught his attention. Another shiny jellyfish? I think so. I've seen one near the glacial passage. Dave, I'm sorry to ask you, but could you look for Selgio? If he's hiding somewhere, you can lure him out with some feed. Okay, I'll search around the glacial passage. I thought that exclamation point meant turning things in, not... Or humans, or animals, or plants, or something. Who really? Who really knows? Anyway, farm. Uh, we got five seaweed. Let's farm sea grapes. So does a question mark mean I've completed something? Humans are animals, yes. Wild beasts of animals. Plants don't seem curious. Yeah, they pretty much just want to know which way is sun. Sun where? I heard you saved Zuchi and Donna from a cave. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, escaping is quite a challenge. Zuchi can be a bit single-minded when he's gathering seaweed. But it's thanks to him I got new seaweed. Ha ha. It's called Bladder Rack. I thought I'd make some delicious dumplings with it. I added it to the menu. Try it later. Dumplings. Bladder rack. Has a chance to gather more seaweed and increase the movement speed. Sun up. Sun up. Fungi can be curious. Curious in the that's a strange thing sense. Yeah. go out and try to find some amethyst so I can upgrade my gun. And if we find some sharks while we're at it, that'll be good. But otherwise, we'll be just kind of done. Next stream, we can actually go deal with the plot. Sniper rifle. We don't need that. Let's 
see, this guy's dangerous. Because his instincts tell him that everything is food. I still don't see how fang tooths can be overpopulated or invasive. Come here, we need you as bait. We need you for crab bait. Gonna catch ourselves a crab with a sea toad. Fast. But we have tools, and he does not. Let's go look around, see if we can find some amethyst. I didn't see that stargazer until we were right on top of him. Oh yeah, if we're gonna get out of here, we need a UV light. There's usually an exploding jellyfish here, but there isn't today. So that's nice out there instead. Um, oh, hey, it's that sign that goes to the underwater lake that we gotta find the children at. I said Morrow hasn't returned yet. Maybe I'll follow the sign. Maybe. Pickaxe. Sometimes we need a pickaxe still. Scooter's nice to have. Let's top up on O2. At night, sun in Australia, or if Egypt, he dead. Are we talking about fungi? Rubber chicken. Does a cookie cutter shark count as a shark for the purposes of shark festival? Probably not. I wasn't sure if we need a purple starfish. We definitely need pink seashells though. Oh good! It's the door to the underwater lake. Crumpled rocks are blocking the way. Looks like we need a pickaxe. Thankfully I have one. Yes, but first... Cook the better shark. And... Amethyst. And of course the amethyst lies over here next to that stargazer but well, we're gonna be all right very squishy sounding rocks great now the rocks are gone looks like the door crumbled because of the earthquake earthquake let's go inside and find morrow Probably top up on O2, but what if we need to come back this way?
We're probably gonna have to come back this way, but going very fast. Oh, there's our lake. This must be the underwater lake. To see a lake under the sea, it really is amazing. Maybe I should take a photo. Show it to all our friends at Bikini Bottom. Avoid the fog. That's a okay picture, sure. Uh-oh, boss fight time. Sound like the noise came from up here. But I can't go that way. Like, it's very nice, peaceful music here, when we know that those bullets mean we're gonna fight something. Defeat the Goblin Shark. Oh, they made him extra ugly. A photo only Ruben's art and design teacher could like. Oh, human, you came to rescue me. I'm here to rescue you, but what is that monster? I was just here to take a look at the lake. That's when... Yeah, we get to fight him now. Goblin Shark! Mmm, this is a problem. Looks like I have to find a way. Also, Goblin Shark right before Shark Festival. How lucky. Tomorrow has been multiple days. You are assumed dead. Oh, yeah, he's been missing for a while now. Just collect all the resources we can. Gun enhancement kit, that would have been nice. Would have taken a couple less shots. <laughs> nasal bones. Nice cursor. Yeah, I know, it's very useful for pointing at things. I'm too paranoid to download fancy cursors off the internet, and I'm too lazy to make my own right now. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Well, I wanted to see the underwater lake. Get a load of this kid. Anyway, let's get back to the village. You can partially see the eclipse. Not right now, though. In a little bit longer. Maro, I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? Was there really a lake in the water? Ruben has a custom cursor fish. It's way better. I took a photo. You want to see it? It's like of a stick. See? Stick. Enjoy your stick picture. It's amazing. Wow, stick. I know you're disappointed, but be satisfied with the photo. There were dangerous monsters there. Goblin shark's not a monster. It's a, it's a shark. It's a fish. It's normal. We bought monsters. Anyway, thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. The child lies as easily as he breathes. Uh, well, we got our amethyst.
Maybe we can buy more amethyst from uh, the shopkeeper here. Could we just need 10 and I can upgrade my gun? Aw. So I can sell him amethyst, but I can't buy it from him. The child is traumatized, or a liar. Maybe a little of both. I guess we can go to the Glacial Passage. See if we can find that little squid. European lobster. Look at all of its majesty. Uh, switch over to scooter. Switch over to gun. Collect more narwhal meat, I guess. Yeah, I'll just carve it. If we find a shark down here, we can use a submersible on it. Otherwise... Yeah, let's just save it. Miso. Have we found Miso before? Miso is new. How is it still so not late? I'm not sure. I mean, as far as a little squid guy is concerned, it's not too late because he's probably hiding in a crevice somewhere. As far as not too late for the eclipse, I mean, the whole event takes a while. I'm really only interested in when it's mostly covering the sun. Golden King Crab. Another scooter. I don't really need the UV light down here, so... Bye bye. I'm gonna assume he's not in that area. Maybe a bad assumption, but. Frozen fish. We're not going to use the frozen fish as a weapon. Do crabs think fish fly? Only if they think they themselves fly, because, like, you know, crabs can swim. Some crabs, like blue crabs, can swim really well. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a fast swimmer, but can definitely swim. We're just 
collecting all kinds of like packaged food products. Mayonnaise. We just found the Arctic mayonnaise, guys. And keep it cool, you know? That's how you know it's good. Can I break this stuff? With my pickaxe? Nope. Nope, still can't break that with the pickaxe. There's a shark or something here, that'd be nice. I mean, not that nice, but a little nice. I think we're out of the glacial zone, technically, and in the hot springs now. Submerged, encapsulated, mayonnaise. But do they think they can fly? Only flying fish. Flying fish can fly. Otherwise, fish swim just like crabs swim. It's not that impressive. Hmm. Hmm. What are those tadpole-like creatures? Are they an ancient species as well? What a cute bunch. Such a rare opportunity. I should take a picture of them while I can. It's a Saka Bompospis! No, it's not. It's another jawless fish. Oh, well. Got excited for a second there. Did I get four of them at once? No, he didn't count. Didn't count. Why am I trying? Why am I trying to take this picture with all four of them? They've already betrayed me by not being Saka Pompospis. Cool, we got it. And I already used the crab trap, so we can't see what mysterious ancient crabs are down here. Fuck bean. I don't know what that is at all. Hammer-headed shark here. Don't know if you counts. As a shark. I accidentally punched my microphone. Sorry if that made any hor horrible noises. Foul caddis. Something underground here.
It's that little jawless fish. Well, not jawless fish. He's a armored fish of some sort. just died. Whatever. Uh, sure. We'll send you up with the submersible. And there's a... Not a... I don't know what that is. I don't recognize that thing at all. Let's kill it. It poisoned me. And it seems like my oxygen is rapidly depleting, so we're gonna just go back. We're just gonna go back to the Sea People Village. Honestly, might as well just go back to the boat and get this done with. But. I hit the wrong button, so we're going to the Sea People, sea people Village. Um, yeah, let's just go to the boat. Get this done. Serve some sushi for the shark people, and then I will end the stream. What do you want, Udo? Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see it? What are these tadpoles? Yeah. I think I've seen a picture of them in a book. Hmm. <laughs> I remember now. Arondapsis. Aron... Arondap... Daspis. Arondaspis. Uh. How did you take this picture? Where in the world could you take this picture? Mm. Our readers may think we're using fake pictures. <gasps> if so, it's all on you, Dave. No. <laughs> no. I am just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. <laughs> there are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. <laughs> shark firework. More shark fireworks. Even though it's raining. Something grew. Oh, the carrots are done. And that one died. So I guess we can serve vegetable sushi if you want. Now I gotta buy more carrot seeds. Maybe it's the chickens. Maybe the chickens are har harming my crops. Maybe keeping them wasn't such a great idea. Sushi. Let's make food and be done for the day. Oh, we've got another contestant. Alex, the fish fryer. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Good to see you again. I'm Vincent Yamaoka. Here he is, appearing out of nowhere again. The previous episode of Challenge, the chef was as hot as molten lava. It was truly an interesting development. That's some interesting writing. And in today's episode, a new challenger appears. 
Let me introduce you to Alex Cooper, Cookstas Platinum Ranked Chef from the United Kingdom. Ah, you must be the sushi chef who beat Bong Pong in the last competition, yes? I expected a fancier restaurant than this. Your establishment is humble indeed. Oh, the challenger is provoking the champion. This will be an exciting match. Today's theme is... British food. Sorry, British food. Fry the sea. Let them boil. Let the end of days come. Both Japan and the United Kingdom are popular for their fried dishes. This is probably not legal. It's the internet. Anything is legal as long as you say it's a prank. Their dishes may look similar, but are authentic each in their own way. Like, you gotta have the proper rub-off newsprints for your British fish and chips. Whose dish will please the palate of Benson to the judge? Can you guess the winner? Does sports betting allow for betting on cooking competitions? Like before, we will give you two days. I repeat, you have two days to compete. Dear audience, this match will be fire. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's challenge, The Chef. Bye, go, get out, I got people to serve. I guess he showed us his moves. Well, that was an easy one this time. Your fried sea bream or black tiger shrimp will win the day easily. My choice is deep sea fish. But why? They are well-known recipes. I don't want to just replicate the taste. Taste. If you say it's a prank, Ruben's autism says he can beat you up. Fair. I took up the kitchen knife to explore new ingredients and tastes of the sea. The flesh of deep sea fish is unusual. Is usually soft and gelatinous. I will fry it and harden it to add flavor and texture. Yeah, we're gonna vulcanize that fish. But you're not familiar with deep fish recipes. What if Vincent doesn't like your dish? Don't worry, I will cook the best deep sea dish. Today's main ingredients are cookie cutter sharks, vampire squids, and binocular fish. Oh, we got those. The lineup is quite ambitious. Well, I trust your hunch, Poncho. I will try to secure them. So today is shark, so we gotta find our shark recipes. Like this guy, Thresher Shark, we got plenty of them. We're never gonna serve the much Thresher Shark again. Uh, narwhal meat, I don't think is, is a shark. I don't think they count as sharks. Uh, do we wanna put the vegetable sushi? Just try a lot of things. Let's just get through our shark meats. Uh, Attic's not shark. Pelican eel's not shark. Mega mouth shark is shark. I don't think that Threpanapsis is shark. Cleon tentacle, phantom jellyfish. Nah, those aren't gonna do it. Ah, frilled shark meat. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Uh, Xenacanthus. Probably not a shark. Tastes terrible. Sells for a lot. We're gonna kill our reputation by selling shark meat. Octopus, blobfish. Falcatus is kind of a shark. Mega mouth shark. Okay, we're just serving shark, all shark today. Um, I should probably train my staff. Get everyone to level 6 at least.
Oh, we can make drinks. You sell beverages at a higher price. So, just upgrades your cooking and serving slightly. Whatever. She is our charity case. Also, bye, Ruben. I will see you tomorrow. Cooking ability increases permanently by a great margin. By a hundred, yeah. Kyoko is our most normal employee. Alright, let's serve some food, get this done. We better come hungry for shark, because that's all we got on the menu today. Uh, I can do tea. I can't really do beer. And I'm the only person who does wasabi, so that's my job now. Someone just didn't want shark. Uh, do we have any... Just barely caught that. Someone like wasn't able to sit down because there were dishes in the way. That's a little sad. So, did we make a killing? Nah, not really. We just got rid of a bunch of our shark stock. Okay, so didn't do revenge, because don't care. Sorry, lady. Um. Hi, Dr. Bacon. Has your drone finished the job? Ooh, I barely managed to cut it. It's very thick and tough. It is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. It's common sense to clear all the missions before fighting the boss in an RPG. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt. Chapter 7, Broken Control Room. Hello there, a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday, hee <laughs> hee. We got a thousand gold. That's okay. Can I upgrade my gun? Do I have... I still need four more amethysts. I need two more giant trevally fins. Oh, right. All right. Whatever. So I guess we're not going to do that right now. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream. So I'll be back tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. Have a good whatever it is until I see you again. Uh... Bye for now.